Let me guess. You're probably thinking I'm shooting this from a helicopter right now, aren't you? Well, you're half right. This is a video drone, and it is changing the way we shoot video. But how are they changing the future of video production? To find out, I visited Mike Wiseman, the Director of Operations at the Volunteer Channel of UT Campus. Well, it's giving video producers and videographers another tool to use in their arsenal. Um, it gives them a, a whole new uh, collection of creative options that we didn't have before, or if we did, it took several thousand dollars of equipment to get the same shot you can get with a thousand dollar drone now. So uh, yeah, it just it opens up a whole new door for us. It makes me think of new shots that I can get um, for a project if it need be. Um, it just it gives me a cheaper option and is more friendly on my budget. Um, if I'm trying to figure out the pricing of a project, you know I don't have to spend several thousand dollars renting a, a jib or a crane or a dolly. You know I can achieve all that now with a drone. And he wasn't the only one who thought so. Many at Pellissippi thought this way as well. Drones have changed the way that I shoot video. Again, just we're getting better stuff quicker and cheaper that we couldn't get before. It's allowing more production to happen, smaller budget in a smaller period of time, and you just don't have to worry about renting a $100,000 50-foot crane, you can just do it on a drone. They're allowing filmmakers to get shots which previously you would have to spend a whole lot of money to hire a helicopter, helicopter pilot, pay for fuel, um, something that cost, used to cost thousands of dollars. Now you only have to pay less than a thousand dollars to get a drone which would have let you accomplish those shots by yourself. And also not only are they good aerially, but they're great for stuff on the ground to get shots where you, normally you would be restricted by certain obstacles that might be in your way. Now you can just, they're so precise with GPS, you can fly them. I, I've actually flown through these fences before. Uh, so you can go in and out of windows, uh, all around, I mean, it's, it's really amazing what, what they can do. A lot of the limitations that were there have been lifted. Um, and also it's helped me to just being able to visualize or having to visualize shots that I haven't had to do so before has allowed me to also be more creative with my footage shot here on the ground. There are amazing things that drones have captured over the years. When there was all the flood damage um, in Katrina, they used drones to survey the damage. Um, documentary filmmakers have used it to uh, view the effects of strip mining. Um, there's just, you have access to stuff that you didn't have access to before. And as long as you go through the proper channels to get that access, you know, it, it just gives you a whole new perspective on the story. Um, I had the opportunity to use one of the drones um, for a Tennessee tourism shoot. And I actually flew it inside a cave up in Bristol, uh, which was pretty neat. And the way the camera was set up, it could actually see more than we could. So it, it definitely was pretty cool. I would say actually was one that we filmed last summer with a drone that I borrowed from a friend. Um, it was a wedding and it was our first wedding ever using it. And that was just a fun time because it gave us uh, experience and we learned a lot about how to 
utilize a drone in a wedding scenario. Some people will just go crazy and use them all the time, but you really don't have to do that. You know, it's a tool of the trade. It's not the tool of the trade. Drones have created many opportunities for photography and video, and because of that, they are showing up everywhere. I think drone usage, um, if everything goes to plan with the FAA, and I hope it does, will be an indispensable piece of kit for everybody who wants to make a living shooting. I really do believe that. I think the use of the drones will be quite widespread. Um, the drones for the complete price of a drone is going to be less than the cost of a helicopter rental. Uh, plus it will allow them to get the shots that you can't get a helicopter into. Uh, the use of the drones is, is already pretty well established. Uh, you can see them in the X Games, um, a lot of the you know, movie productions, things like that. Uh, it's it's going to come on pretty strong. It's going to be just like when the GoPro first came out. Some productions would use them for specific shots, but they wouldn't use them all the time. But it's really only going to be limited to our creativity and our imagination. I think it, you're going to start to see more and more of it. Um, I think it'll be fairly common in about five years. I, I think we will figure out how to legally and safely use drones um, in our field as well as several other different industries. And uh, I, I think it'll just be a, a commonplace thing here in a few years like cell phones or uh, iPads or something. The increase of drone availability has made some people nervous there are many claims towards safety and privacy issues involving drones. Uh, as far as privacy goes, if you're that worried about it, you probably shouldn't be doing what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I believe that just like in any uh, electronic news gathering situation, uh, if you're trying to get permission to shoot a certain property, I think you're doing the right thing. Um, I do agree that privacy issues are now in play because you can basically go anywhere you want and shoot whatever you want. Um, so yeah, I, I think that you need to get permission for your shots and you know, if you don't have permission, I don't think you should you know, point the drone in that direction. In terms of the FAA, they cannot make laws, but they make rules and regulations and if they find you to be operating a drone dangerously or recklessly, they can fine you up to $10,000, and they have done so in the past. Right now, they're working on legislation to um, control people's use and operation of drones. Uh, for instance, ours came packaged. Uh, when ours came in the mail, it was only limited to an altitude of 400 feet. Um, and they're kind of taking their time on it. They said that they would have legislation in place by September, but now they say, they're saying that it won't, they won't actually have any kind of legislation in place until 2015 or so. Um, and I can kind of see it both ways. Uh, th as with any new technology, it will take some time to come up with certain legislation. Uh, they don't want to rush into it too quickly because they might come up with rules and then something else, someone does something which will cause them to have to go and reevaluate their entire stance on things. Um, but they're wanting to get that done as soon as possible. They want to get the legislation in place as soon as possible and regulations because they want a piece of the pie basically. Like anything else that we do, safety has to be our primary concern. Yes, we can shoot faster. Yes, we can shoot cheaper. But that is no reason why we should take anybody's safety for granted. They are flying bricks with razor blades. That's really what those things are. And you get in the way of one, you're not going to look that well at the end. So as we mature drone usage in this industry, I would hope anybody using them, the videographer, the producer, the client requesting it, would bear in mind that you have to be safe in their operations. You just cannot start flying them without hours of practice, and I do mean hours of practice. Pilots have to go through all sorts of training and testing requirements before they can fly by themselves. And I think some sort of check 
on a drone operator should be in place? I think that the drones are fun. Uh, they create that unique perspective. Um, I think where the issues may fall are people being irresponsible with them. Uh, but I think that could all be curtailed. Uh, if, you know, self-policing would probably be a better bet, but I don't know that people are capable of that. Drones are slowly changing, just as fast as they are changing the way we do things. Like it or not, they're here. Thank you.